Welcome to the world of C programming. Now, so before starting with C programming tutorials, we'll see why we require programming. See, in this world of uh, IT or computers, there is something called a software. Now, what exactly software means is it reduces human work. Now, when you say it reduces human work, is something like this. Let's say if I open a calculator. So, let's say you want to add two numbers. So, what we can do is we can take these two numbers. We can say 2 plus or 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, right? So, if you wanted this calculation, which is 3 plus 5, which is 8, so we can use a calculator. Now, you will say, what's a big deal? I can do those operations in my brain. Yes, you can. But the problem arises when you want to add two numbers like, let's say, 365 plus 9454. When you can do that, right? You can do some, you can, it will take some time for you, maybe two or three seconds to add these two numbers. But the problem uh, goes up when you, when you multiply two numbers, which is, let's say, 654 into 652. And this is your number. Again, you will say we have Vedic maths, right? But you cannot do scientific calculations now. So let's say we have a scientific calculator. So can you perform all these operations? Unfortunately, you can, but not on the spot. It will take some time for you to calculate and we don't have time to do that, right? And that's why software helps. Now, how to create this software? Let's say you want to create your own calculator. It's a small task, but say let's say you want to create your own calculator, what you need? You need a programming using which you can create this GUI and you have to write some logic the programming should provide you some inbuilt features so that you can do all these operations, right? And there are lots of programming language. We have C, we have C++, we have Java, we have C Sharp. Now, using one of these languages, you can create this, create this calculator. So, where to start? The problem is, when you start with any programming language, let's say it is Java. Now, Java has lots of features. So, when you learn a new programming, you have to learn syntax plus you have to learn semantics. Java has lots of concept to learn. It has a huge amount of theory of oops concept. It has lots of keywords. So it's a bit difficult to start with Java as your first language. So where to start? So if you are new to programming, the best way is to start with C programming. Again, C is called as mother of all the languages. It's simply because it has almost every feature and it's simple uh, trust me c is simple okay so before starting with java or any higher level programming i will recommend start with c programming now those who are watching this video only to learn c programming this is the way you have to start so let's close this calculator and let's try to create this type of calculator which is this gui calculator in c programming oh but hold on hold on we cannot create the exact GUI in C is because C basically works with 16-bit computing and I'm using Windows 7 which uses maybe Visual C++ or this is 64-bit computing. So I'm not saying using C program you can make this type of Calci but you can make a Calci which will work in the same way but not look in the same way. It might look different. Now when I say it might look different, it might be, now this is GUI. Uh, C might give you CLI and it will give you CLI. Now, what exactly CLI means? Uh, something in this way. So, this is your CLI mode. Again, this is a, a white background. Normally, CLI means black one. Uh, so, if you know, if you use normal command prompts, so normally you get a black background and white text. So, that means you have to add two numbers here. Okay. So, you have to create a software for adding two numbers and you have to use this screen. Okay, I, I know you will say when, when we have this calculator, why we require our own code is just for practice. To create big application, you have to start somewhere and that somewhere is going for small, small codes. Okay, so let's start with the C programming. Now to work with C programming, the first software you need with you is Turbo C++. Again, we have lots of uh, IDEs for this. We can use NetBeans. Uh, like we have NetBeans, we have to co you have to configure your NetBeans to work with C, uh, C and C++. Uh, then we have Turbo C++, then we have this SciGen, then we have Unix prompt. We have lots of software where you can run your C code. 
basically i am going for turbo c++ because lots of people are familiar with this this software unfortunately default turbo c application will wo not work on windows 8 or windows 7 it's because that application is 16 bit and windows 7 has stopped the support of 16 bit uh, 16 bit uh, software so what you can do you can use some modified version of turbo c++ again there there are lots of bugs in there in those softwares but we need to manage so let's open the software now this is the software and this is your first code okay now what this code means if you don't know it's okay we'll, we'll see every, each and everything in detail now so first step you have to create a new file so we'll click on file and say new now once you click on a new file it will create a blank screen where you can type your code and then once you typed your code you have to compile this now to compile there's a menu here you can press on compile now click on compile and say compile this will give you this prompt it will show you some information most important part is warnings and errors now as a programmer we don't care about warnings we only care about errors so we don't have any error here and say enter so no error and let's run this so when you say uh, there's a menu called as run here and you can click on run as you know uh, as you can see the shortcut for run is control f9 so we can directly press control f9 so when i click on run and the output is this this again the current output is just this last hello the previous the, 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 the thing you are seeing here is the previous output why we have that output that will say later but you got the output called as hello now so to to learn how to start with C programming or to understand what exactly C programming means, we'll, we'll continue that part in the next tutorial. So uh, do subscribe and thank you.